In this week's court report, Cole Ingleson, the area man arrested and charged with first degree murder in connection to the death of three year old Yesenia Camp, remains in custody, no bail, while he awaits his pretrial hearing. That proceeding was set for March 29th and was continued per defense request. However, Ingleson was present in court while in custody and was accompanied by a deputy. But before that defendant's case was continued, his public defender, attorney Harry Gensler, briefed the record. A copy of the autopsy report was received and discussed with the defendant. However, additional evidence was sent to the state of Texas to be analyzed. Attorney David Reichert, who is listed as co-counsel and attorney Gensler requested that another pretrial hearing be set in 60 days. The prosecuting attorney concurred and did not oppose that continuance. The court accepted the representations and continued Ingleson's pretrial hearing to May 31st. Then the defendant was remanded back to the custody of the Nye County Sheriff's Office. Brandon Reading, the Perump man with a recorded history of battery and various cases in justice court, makes a recent appearance in district court. Reading appeared while in custody for his higher court arraignment hearing to face the charge of invasion of the home. During that proceeding, Reading's attorney, David Reichert, briefed the case history for the court record and states a competency evaluation is not necessary for this matter and makes an oral motion for an OR release. A rep for the state opposes. Then Mr. Reichert states the reason why the defendant is requesting the release is that he has two doctor's appointments. The defendant states he has a job as soon as he's released and notes his family members need his care. Reading then continues to apologize to the court. Mr. Reichert explains the defendant is competent and describes the defendant's interaction, which led him to believe that the defendant was incompetent. Finally, the court denies the motion for Reading's OR release. Notably, Reading's latest case and arrest stems from a domestic battery allegation involving a reported fight with his former roommates, one of whom is related to Reading through marriage. The reported victims told police that Reading came to the front door and kicked it in off its hinges, then began punching an unidentified male victim. An unidentified female victim says Reading was upset because they left some food on their front porch for Reading, but he did not think they left him enough. This has been your court report. I'm Unette Gentry for News 46.